Welcome to the spoken tutorial on installation of front accounting on Linux operating system. In this tutorial, we will learn to install XAMPP, download front accounting software, do the database setup, and install front accounting in Linux OS. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux OS version 16.04, Apache, MySQL and PHP obtained through XAMPP 5.5.19, Front Accounting 2.4.7, Firefox web browser, and a working internet connection. You can use any web browser of your choice. Front Accounting is a server based accounting system. So we will be using XAMPP to set up the web server on our machine. Open a web browser. In the address bar, type this URL and press enter. This will take us to the XAMPP download page. Here, XAMPP is available to download for all operating systems. The latest version of XAMPP can be downloaded by clicking this green button. However, depending upon your software requirement, you may need a different version of XAMPP. In my case, I need XAMPP version 5.5.19. Scroll down and select XAMPP Linux. The redirected page will display all the XAMPP versions till date. For this installation, I will select the XAMPP version 5.5.19. My system is a 64-bit operating system. So I will download XAMPP-Linux hyphen x64 hyphen 5.5.19 hyphen 0 hyphen installer dot run. Now click on the save file button and then click on the OK button. In my machine it has been saved in the downloads folder. Let's open a terminal by pressing Ctrl plus Alt plus T keys together. On the terminal type the command cd space downloads and press enter. This will change the current working directory to downloads. Then type the command as shown and press enter. Now to run the installer file, type the command as shown and press enter. Enter the admin password if prompted. Now the setup wizard dialog box opens. Click on the next button whenever prompted and follow the installation steps as shown. Uncheck Learn More About Bitnami for XAMPP checkbox. Then continue by clicking on the Next button. Once the installation done, uncheck Launch XAMPP checkbox. Lastly, click on Finish button. Now we should check whether XAMPP is successfully installed on our machine or not. In the terminal, start XAMPP service by typing sudo space slash opt slash lamp slash lamp space start type the admin password when prompted and press enter you may get a message as shown here this indicates that xamp is installed on our system and you have started the service in case you get a message saying command not found then xamp is not installed on your machine you may get some error messages like Apache shut down unexpectedly or port 80 in use for Apache server or unable to connect to any of the specified MySQL hosts for MySQL database. This is because the default ports allotted to Apache and MySQL is taken by another software. Default port number for Apache is 80 and for MySQL is 3306. To change this port, refer to the additional reading material of this tutorial and allot the proper port numbers before proceeding further. For example, 8080. Now open Firefox web browser. In the address bar, type localhost and press enter. We should be able to see the XAMPP screen. If prompted for language selection, select English. 
We are now in the ZAMP home page. In the menu at the left of the screen, click on PHP Info. Now press Ctrl plus F keys and search for document underscore root. It will be found in the table Apache environment. The value of document underscore root will be either slash opt slash lamp slash stdocs or slash var slash www. In my machine, it is slash opt slash lamp slash stdocs. Please make a note of this path. We are going to install front accounting here. Let's start downloading front accounting. Open another tab in the web browser and go to this URL. Click on front accounting 2.4.7.tar.gz. Immediately the download begins. Click on the save file button and then click on the OK button. Switch back to the terminal. Next, we have to extract the contents of the tar.gz file that we downloaded. So type sudo space tar space hyphen zxvf space front accounting hyphen 2.4.7.tar.gz. Type the admin password if prompted and press enter. Once extracted, I will rename the extracted front accounting folder as account. Type the command mv space front accounting space account and press enter. Renaming of the folder name is optional. However, it helps to identify multiple instances of front accounting installed on a single machine. Switch back to the terminal. Now we have to move the folder account into Apache home directory. To move account folder to Apache home directory, type sudo space mv space account space slash opt slash lamp slash xgdocs slash and press enter. Now let's go to the Apache home directory. To do that, type cd space slash opt slash lamp slash htdocs slash and press enter. To change account folder permission, type sudo space chmode space hyphen r space 777 space account slash and press enter. We have successfully installed the XAMPP server. Make sure that the front accounting installer is in the web server's root directory. Next, we need to create a database for front accounting to proceed further. We will do this in PHP MyAdmin, which is a graphical user interface for MySQL. It comes along with the XAMPP installation. Let us go back to the XAMPP page in the browser. On the XAMPP page, in the menu at the left, click on PHP MyAdmin. Click on Users in the top menu and then click on Add User. In the new window that opens, enter a username of your choice. I will type Front ACC as my username. From the Host drop down list, select Local. Enter a password of your choice in the password text box. I will type Admin123. 3 as my password. Type the same password in the retype text box. Do not click on generate password prompt for now. Under database for user, we can see the option create database with the same name and grant all privileges. We will check that option and scroll down. Then click the go button at the bottom right of the page. We see a message you have added a new user. It means a new database with the name FrontACC and with the user FrontACC has been created. This username and password is only for database login purpose. Make a note of the username, password and database names. 
this will be required later to complete the front accounting installation. Please note, database name and username need not be the same. To have different names, create the database first and then create a user for that database. Also, as per naming convention, username should not have any spaces in between. We now have XAMPP running and our database is ready. We are now ready to proceed installing front accounting in the web browser. Open a new tab. In the address bar, type localhost slash account and press enter. We can see the front accounting web page showing step 1 system diagnostics. Make sure that select install wizard language is English. Scroll down and click on continue button at the bottom of the page. The title of the next web page is step 2 database server settings. Here I'll keep the server port as empty. If you have changed the MySQL default port number other than 3306, then enter that port number here. Enter the following details which we have created earlier. A database name as front ACC, database user as front ACC, database password as admin123. Ignore the rest of options and click on continue button at the bottom. Next, you will need to put the details of your own company. I will demonstrate how to do so. In company name field, I will type ST Company Private Limited. I will keep the admin login as admin. Then I will type the admin password as spoken. You can give any password of your choice. Re enter the same password. Remember, this is the login password. Next, we see two options for the charts of accounts. I will select Standard New Company American COA. Select the default language as English. Click on the Install button. We can see the final message on our screen. Front Accounting ERP has been installed successfully, which confirms that our installation is successful. Click on the link. Click here to start to log in to the Front Accounting interface. In the login screen, enter the following details. Username as admin, password as spoken, company as ST Company Private Limited, and click on the login button. We are brought to the front accounting administration page. We can see various tabs on this page. We will learn how to use many of these later in the series. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we learn to download and install XAMPP, download and install front accounting software, and do the database setup in Linux OS. The video at the following link summarizes the spoken tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The spoken tutorial project team conducts workshops and gives certificates. For more details, please write to us. Do you have questions in this spoken tutorial? Please visit this site. Choose the minute and second where you have the question. Explain your question briefly. Someone from our team will answer them. The spoken tutorial forum is for specific questions on this tutorial. Please do not post unrelated and general questions on them. This will help reduce the clutter. With less clutter, we can use this discussion as instruction material. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by MHRD, Government of India. The script has been contributed by Spoken Tutorial team. This is Arvind Pillai from IIT Bombay signing off. Thanks for joining.